Hello Linux fans, Joseph speaking. Today I would like to give you some information about changes in the Arch Linux installation process. You can find the information as always on the Arch Linux website archlinux.org. Here you can find the latest news. Now, what's it all about? The base group has been replaced by a meta package of the same name. We advise users to install this package, here's the command, as it is effectively mandatory from now on. Users requesting support are expected to be running a system with the base package. Ok, addendum. How does this affect the Arch Linux installation? Be aware that base as it stands does not currently contain a kernel, an editor and other software. Ok, what does this exactly mean? Before that change, all you had to do was to execute packstrap and then base and if you need it, base and base devel. Ok, if you did that, the kernel was included, the text editor was included and some other programs you might need. Here you can find all the uh, packages included in the base before the change. So, for example, bash, device mapper, man pages, nano as a text editor and so on and so forth. What Arch did now is they kicked some of these packages. So they kicked these packages. For example, device mapper, uh, the man pages, nano, v, perl, text info, which, less, and as you can see also Linux, that means the kernel. They kicked the Linux firmware. That means if you type in this command, mount base and base devel, you get nothing. You don't get a kernel. So nothing happens at the end. There is no text editor included, so you cannot edit the hostname of your computer, for example, with a text editor. You can do that with commands like cat or something like that, but not um, with a text editor. That means you have to choose what packages you need and add it to packstrap, to the packstrap command. First you have to look what does that mean. What is less? What is uh, man pages, what is nano, what is net control, what is Perl, what are the USB utilities. So you have to check that for each and every package and then you can choose what you personally would like to include. I marked the packages I personally need yellow. Maybe you disagree with me on my choice, but that's not the point. What you definitely need is Linux. This includes the kernel. If you don't have a kernel, well, that's bad. But instead of uh, Linux, you can choose, for example, the Linux LTS kernel. That's your choice. You can do that easily. I definitely would include nano, net control, uh, DHCPCD and USB utilities. So all you have to do is to add that to the packstrap command. It's easy. We have mount base base devel, this part of the installation. Now we add, for example, Linux. I add nano. I add Linux firmware. Um, yeah, and so on. When you're ready, you hit enter and you start the packstrap command. That's all. 
You also can find uh, that in the installation guide in the Arch Wiki. Here you can uh, see what you have to do. Here you find install essential packages, use the packstrap script to install the base package and a kernel here. What, as I said, what you have to do is to add base and if you like base devel and Linux kernel. You can substitute Linux for a kernel package of your choice or leave it out entirely if you know what you are doing. Okay. Well, that's all. Hopefully I could help you a little bit. Greetings from Germany, Joseph.